Sweet. All right, so after not releasing a song in six years, Adele <laughs> proves that she still got it. So excited. Her song Easy On Me became the most streamed song in a single day on Spotify after its release on Friday. Now, Spotify made the announcement on Instagram with the caption, and just like that, Adele set a new record. Easy On Me is from her album 30, which is set to be released November 19th. I'm sure, well, that's almost a month away now. The singer wrote on Instagram that making this album has helped her throughout the most most turbulent time in her life. Adele has been very vocal about the difficulties that she faced after divorce. So, ladies, which songs have ever helped you through a rough time? Ooh, Is there a song yeah. that's helped you? I know one. I can say uh, Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> Uh, that's the only thing that comes to my mind for some reason. That, I love that one. Oh gosh, I love that one. I know. That's perfect. Um, I would say Celine Dion, All By Myself, <laughs> or uh, Here I Go Again on My Own. Like those are just some jams yeah. that get you in the feels. Uh huh. Well, yeah. uh -huh. mine's going to be completely different because I listen Heavy to metal. rock music. Heavy yeah, metal. And yeah. some, some metal. Metallica. I no, no, okay. that, that was from back in the day. <laughs> Actually, Papa Roach, I like their song Face Everything and Rise. It's a very inspiring okay. song oh, about taking over, overcoming. taking control yeah. of a challenging time and overcoming it. Love Do you remember it. when we used to actually burn recently. CDs? Yes. Yeah, so I had a breakup mix <gasps> that would start. Who did not have right? a breakup Obviously. mix? I it would it. start with All By Myself by Celine Dion, but then progressively the songs would get happier. Uh -huh. And it would uh, end with Walking on Sunshine no, by Katrina and the Waves. No, it ended with Oops, I Did It Again. There you go. So that you can just repeat. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> well, today's forecast is not a rinse and repeat. No. We actually no. finally feel like fall today. Yeah, for Beautiful. sure. Not like that nonsense we had much of last <laughs> week. We're actually talking a cool fall day. It's going to be breezy again. In fact, well, today is going to be a lot like yesterday. In well, kids, yeah, they can be brutally honest mm -hmm. without even trying. Oh, yeah, it's very easy <laughs> for them. And GiveItLove.com shared some students' responses on assignments, and it was hilarious, <laughs> to say the very least. On this assignment, the student was asked to fill in the blank. The options given were fit and hit. This kid didn't choose either of them, instead writing pet <laughs> with a note telling the teacher that you should not hit dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there you go. So then the next one asked, I think I sh my mom should do less of this. <laughs> and the students write, <laughs> oh, drink wine. <gasps> and drew mom holding a wine glass. First oh, of no. all, first of all, m their mommy needs to drink more <laughs> wine. That's the problem. Oh, Not no. that she's drinking wine. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's funny. Can you imagine if that was your kid? Oh, gosh. <laughs> My husband has already trained Ava to call it mommy juice. Mommy oh, juice. Okay, yes. so the question posed in this one was, why are rings on Saturn? The answer because God uh, liked it, so he put a ring on it. Uh, and the teacher replied, Saturn was not a single lady. Oh, that's and then Frankie that. was asked, how does he earn his money? He wrote, I don't, I'm a freeloader. <laughs> Kids are spectacular. I, I mean, love it. you know, if you oh, and this is just like another reminder that they are always listening. Yeah. They are such a sponge. They are, How and funny. when you don't know it, that's the best part. Yeah, you think they're not listening or paying attention because when you need them to, they won't. No, of course. And they always listen to the things first that you don't want them to hear. Yeah. Exactly. When like, like if you tell them the forecast right now, they probably won't listen. Yeah, but, but you then can still if do you it. drop a bad word. Mm -hmm. There you yeah. go. They hear it. In the vocabulary. <laughs> it's a fall forecast, though, so that's good. So yeah. we'll enjoy that today. And right? we won't yep. say anything bad for the kids. It is 9 a.m. on your Tuesday morning. Thanks so much for being with us for Fox 43 Morning News at 9. Look at this. How gorgeous is that? A beautiful look at the Empire State Building in New York City. Blue skies as far as the eyes can see. Here in South Central Pennsylvania, though, it's a little chilly to start your Tuesday. Yeah, Thanks so much it. for being with us for Fox 43 Morning News. I'm Jackie DeTore. I'm Amy Lutz. Danielle Miller is going to have that chilly forecast in just a bit. But first, we're going to check out what's trending this morning. 
So the rapper, formerly known as Kanye West, is now Ye. Nope, yay. <laughs> no middle or last name, just yay. Like Kanye, but just yay. Yeah, all right. So the 44-year-old Grammy winner filed a petition. <laughs> I knew that. I did. In an L.A. court back in August to shorten his name, citing personal reasons. And on Monday, the request was granted by a judge. Ye was also the title of his 2018 album, Oh my God, it's yay. Jeez. <laughs> oh, come on. This is a confusing name change. It just looks like ye. It looks like ye. And he also has Yeezy stuff. Yeah. Yay, ye. What do you think it should be, people? Is it yay or ye? It's, well, he wants, I think it's Kanye, like it's, yay. He, yeah, that's clearly what he wants it to be. <laughs> Whether or not I'm going to ever get that right, I don't think he's going to care yeah, or I, ever find out. I don't think he's sending you a letter. Sorry, Kanye. Sorry. Well, if you could have a nickname. What, what what would you want people Not to call you? Not yay. Not yay? No, because then... Yay! <laughs> what if I said nay? Nay. <laughs> I want to be nay. And you yay know what I would call you? Be best nee. friend. <laughs> <laughs> and I would be okay with it. You would be okay with it. Because it would probably look like it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, good for him, though. Good for you, Kanye. Yep. Whatever. All right. So a video post... <laughs> I can't believe I did that. A video posted for me. His name is Kanye. Like I it's know, not but then he hard. does the Yeezy stuff. I know you're right. We're thanks gonna call him. You're gonna make me feel better. Thank, so yeah, anytime. All right. So a video posted in 2020 is now going viral a year later. So in this video, an 18-year-old Daniel is doing a makeup tutorial, <laughs> and then his dad suddenly interrupts him and sees him wearing makeup for the first time. So here's the dad's reaction. <laughs> Okay, okay. Lo que tú hacer, okay. You'll be okay. I'll be okay with you. Okay. I'll with you. Okay. So Daniel's dad realizes what's happening and he says to Daniel in Spanish, whatever it is you want to do, I'll be okay. I'll be okay with you. So in an interview, Daniel said that that was the day that he came out to his dad, and he is so grateful to have parents who accept him. The video was actually first uploaded by Daniel in July of last year, and it has now gone viral because it was posted on Reddit, and a whole bunch of people are sharing the emotional interaction there as well. Loving parents. Loving parents, indeed. All right, so if you're wondering what kind of day you're going to have today, look no further than TikTok. Okay, this is, all right, so millions of people are looking. I'm one of them. Yeah, to a pug <laughs> to find out if their day will be a no bones or a bones day. You're going to understand, hopefully, what I mean in just a second. Watch this. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to yet another round of No Bones, the game where we find out if my 13-year-old pug woke up with bones. And, as a result, we find out what kind of day we're going to have. Oh, and he's feeling jazzed! Look at those bones! Oh, yeah, lie down. Oh, my gosh, you don't, we don't need him to use them. We just need to know they're there. Know what to do. You've got to treat yourself today. That raise you deserve but haven't asked for yet, you totally deserve it. Ask for it. you got to treat yourself today. You Jonathan regularly posts videos of his dog Noodles on TikTok to show whether he has bones, which means he stays standing, or no bones, meaning he flops back down onto his comfy bed. Oh, okay. With up to 10 million views on his videos, people all over social media are checking in with Noodles to see if they'll have a good day of bones or a not so good day of no bones. Thankfully on Monday, it was a day to treat yourself. So let's all hope Noodles has bones for this Tuesday. I'm not kidding. It shows up every day when I go on to TikTok. So, it's one of the first videos. So it's supposed to I'm be a whole thing. I'm still confused. Like, it would be the equivalent of like a lazy day. Like, is, is today mm -hmm. going to be a good day? Am I feeling energetic? Am Sunday I going to stand? Sunday was a no bones day. And so we're basing, was a lazy day. Day. Yes. So we're basing it on the dog, whether or not yeah. he stands up and You know how and... sometimes <laughs> dogs predict the Super Bowl? That's amazing. This dog is just, protect, just predicting what kind of day we're going to have. I think yeah. every day needs to be lying down. <laughs> Well, is that no you, bones? That's no bed. bones. So that's no bones. Yes. 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 So typically he has no bones days on a rainy day. Yeah. A mug, like, you know, just and like a we have day. no bones about that. Yeah, we absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. we don't know what today is. He usually does it around 10, 10 a.m. Oh, on so TikTok. we'll have to, we'll have to follow so, up. So for now, we'll have to listen to Danielle's <laughs> forecast for I'm what standing, kind of day so we 